Hey guys, good news, I have a fitness app. You get to work out live with me and other amazing trainers every single day. Go on, download Feel on the App Store or go to feellife.com and start your journey to become. Welcome to another beginner workout. I'm Joanna So and today's workout is an easy to follow indoor bootcamp workout to work on your entire body. If you have just started in your fitness journey, if you're just starting to get active again, do this workout, okay? It's going to be really easy, really simple to follow. 40 seconds of workout with 20 seconds rest in between. We will be going through your total body, so it will be 12 exercises in total, all right? So let's start with warm up. Okay, so let's start by standing shoulder width apart. Again, toes pointed forward. Let's start with a simple squat, okay? As you squat down, I want you to push your butt back and raise your arms up to the ceiling, okay? So you're squatting as well as stretching on your upper body. Good, so push your butt back and reach up. I will be explaining each move in detail. Very good, keep going. So remember to push your butt back and bring your arms both up at the same time. If you find that your toes are pointing forward, this is wrong, okay? So again, push your butt back and arms up. Good, keep going through more. Give me one more, last one. Stretch, chest up and back down. Now, get into a lunge position, okay? So step your right leg forward and I want you to bend down and I, again, I want you to just stretch up and really push yourself back. Feel the stretch on your lower back as well as the hip flexor. And now bring it back down, change side, step, bend your knees and stretch back. Good. Let's do that a few more times. Step forward, up and change. If you want to challenge yourself, what you can do is lift your knees off the floor. And back down, switch side again to challenge yourself. Lift this knee off the floor and reach back. Very good. And now in the same position, I want you to place one palm down and just twist and look the opposite side. To challenge yourself, lift the resting knee off the floor. And now both palms together. Bring your right leg back, left leg forward, and twist and look the opposite side. Good. Feel the stretch around your glutes, your inner thighs, as well as your thighs, okay? If this is too difficult, then what you can do is just rest your knee on the floor and twist. Good. One more on the other side. Back. Choose your option, okay? Good. And now just slowly stand up. So, just relax, just start by marching on the spot. Remember that your goal throughout the 45 minutes of this workout is to break your limits, to push yourself, but at the same time, I want you to listen to your body, okay? So if this is completely new, no worries, take it at your own pace and just follow along. So the first workout is going to be step squat. So what we want to do is start by working on your lower body. So stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, do not point them out or do not point them inwards, okay? So stand shoulder width apart, toes pointed forward, push your butt back, squat. And now I want you to bring your left leg in, close together, inner squat, narrow squat, and back down. And now right leg out and squat again, okay? Ready? Let's go. So shoulder width apart, let's go. Squat down, up, narrow squat, and now right, squat down, up, again back to narrow squat, and left. Good, that's it, very good. So narrow, push your butt back, up, and good. Again, remember when you do a narrow squat, you will feel more on your glutes, okay? Very good. So you might find that this is more challenging. And if you can't go all the way down, no worries. Just go halfway, back up, step wide, go deeper this time, okay? Every time you squat, challenge yourself to go a little deeper without hunching forward. And now just march and shake it out. Next is going to be a wide squat with tiptoe. For this workout, I want you to point both toes out and get into a wide standing position, okay? So what I want you to do is squat down, tap, and as you come up, reach up and point your toes, okay? If you can't point your toes, that's fine. Keep your heels on the floor. So tap, up, lift your heels off, and back again, down, reach, and lift your heels off. 
Remember, it's about squatting down. It is not hunching your body forward, okay? So squat down, tap, up, and tiptoe. Good. Down again, and tiptoe. So squeeze on your calves right at the top. Good. Back down, up, tiptoe, squeeze on your calves. Squat deep, feel your inner thighs. Up again, tiptoe. Remember, step wide. Few more, last one more. Down, up, and just march and shake it out. Push-ups. Do not worry, we're not starting with full push-up. So we're starting with knee push-up. So let's get down onto the mat. Okay, get onto your knees. Knees together and place both palms on the mat, slightly wider than your shoulders. And what I want you to do is bring your chest close down to the floor and push yourself back up. That's it. So nice and controlled movement and push yourself back up. The most common mistake is people doing this, okay? Bringing their head down to the floor or piking their butt up. This is wrong. So keep your body in a straight line, back down and push up, control, back down and push up. And remember, do not jerk or lock your knees right at the top. So control the movement. Slowly control down, push up, Feel your chest, squeeze, use your chest muscles to push yourself up in a nice and controlled manner. One more, up and relax. Shake it out. Next is going to be a plank step in and out. This workout is going to work on your core. So get into a high plank position. Both palms on the floor, toes slightly wider if you want to or you can keep them shoulder width apart. Find your option, okay? The wider you go, the easier it is. So what I want you to do is step out, step in, out and in. Got that? So left side out, bring them together, right leg and bring them together, okay? That's it. Left, in, right and in. So keep a nice high plank without rocking your hips, okay? Do not do this, this is wrong. Solid plank, tighten your core, Look down and just step in and out. If you want to challenge yourself, then go faster. Speed it up a little bit. Left and right, step in and out. Good. That's it. In and out. And just relax. Shake it out a little bit. Next workout, plank twist, okay? So, again, in a high plank position. But this time, we want to focus on your obliques. So, let's get into a high plank position. Step slightly wider to find your balance. What I want you to do is twist and look and reach the opposite side. Again, back down, look, look up, straighten your arm and reach as high, feel the stretch and back down. Remember to maintain a solid plank position. If you're find, finding yourself doing this, this is wrong, okay? So, lower your butt down, tighten your core and bring it back down, good. Tighten those abs, work on your core muscles. And back down, good. Spread your palms wider to keep yourself grounded to the floor. Reach, twist, reach one more on the other side. Twist and reach. Ah, how does that feel, okay? Feels good? Now, let's end with a little bit of cardio. So, air jump rope. What I want you to do is imagine you have a skipping rope in your hand and just feel free to just hop side to side, one leg at a time, you know, or both legs if you want to, it's up to you. Just have fun, okay? And just rotate your wrist slightly. You can have both legs, side to side if you want to, or just tap on your heels. Have fun, play with it, rotate your waist, move your hips, and just have fun. And remember to swing your wrist as well, good. Keep going. Double, out if you want to, <laughs> okay, point, double, side to side, hop side to side, keep going, five more seconds, <sighs> just to bring that heart rate up slightly, all right, route, march it out, <sighs> good, next, knee side plank, okay, so place both knees on the floor, stay on your elbows, throughout the workout, all right? What I want you to do is place your arms around your waist. I want you to dip your hips close to the floor, lift it up, squeeze your obliques, bring it back down, lift it up and squeeze, okay? So this is a very easy side knee plank. 
to start with. Good. Feel the squeeze and the obliques. Remember to always keep your body squared. Up and down. Good. Go up and down. If you find that, do you know what? I want to challenge myself. I want to break my limits. Straighten both legs. Stack them together. Lift it up. Bring it back down. Up and back down, okay? Find your options. Remember to keep your arms firmly grounded on the floor. Good. <sighs> Rest it out. And now let's switch the other side. So, choose your option, okay? You can either stay on your knees, if you want to stay on both knees, or stack both feet on top of each other and raise your hips up and down. Choose your option, all right? Let's go. Palms firmly on the floor, and up and down. Good. Keep going. You should really feel the squeeze on the outer thighs, as well as your waist, as well as the work on your core to keep you in balance. If you feel that you're out of balance, that is absolutely fine. Your body and your muscles have to remember the movements. So the more you do it, the better you will become at it. All right, keep going up and down, up and down. Squeeze, shoulders, push your shoulders off the floor. A few more, last one, and relax. Good, now let's lie on the floor. Let's get into a bridge march, all right? So, lie down, keep your knees up, place both feet on the floor. And what I want you to do is lift your butt off the floor into a high bridge position. And I want you to do, get into a march, okay? So left leg off, right leg off, and slowly get into a march. And your goal is not to drop your hips, okay? So keep it up. Keep it high up throughout the whole workout and drive the knee close to your chest one at a time. Good, keep going up, up, good. There you go, squeeze it, crunch it and feel it on your lower abs as well and squeeze your glutes, work on the glutes and keep marching, good. Again, like I always emphasize, it's not about rushing the workout but rather it's feeling the right muscles working. All right, let's get up. Now let's get into plank to downward dog, okay? So start in a high plank and I want you to push your butt up into a downward dog. So this is also a really nice stretch to stretch on your entire body. You will feel it on your upper back, down through your spine as well as your hamstrings. Good, so palms firmly on the ground. Let's get into a solid, nice plank. And now push your butt up, look in between your legs, feel the stretch on your back, down your spine and your hamstring, back into a plank. And now let's push it back again and let's get your heels down onto the floor, okay? So pike your butt up as high as you can, back down into a plank and push it. If you can't get your heels onto the floor, that's fine. Slowly start by pointing your heels down and get into a walking dog as well, okay? This will increase the flexibility on your hamstring, okay? And now, let's get into Superman. Good, so just face down. Okay, lie flat down, all right? Both arms pointed forward. What I want you to do is lift your body up, bring your arms back and squeeze your back. Reach out and back down. Let's go up, bring it back, squeeze your back, reach and back down. So lift both legs off the floor, squeeze, reach, and down, good. Again, down. Look and gaze gently at the floor. Keep your neck in a neutral position, okay? So do not look forward. Gaze down, squeeze your back as high as you can, and down, good. Up, squeeze, reach, good, there you go. So you're working on your lower back as well as your mid back. And now, final workout before you get a one minute break. Let's get into another cardio movement, a double knee, okay? So it's really simple. What I want you to do is reach double and then change side, okay? Again, I want to get your heart rate up and you will get a one minute break after this. So let's go, double knee, tap and change side, tap. Double knee, switch side, okay? 
Good. If you can, reach as high as you can and tap your arms to your knees. All right, let's go for four, okay? One, two, three, four. Good. Point your legs back. The other side. One, two, three, four. Point and reach as high as you can. Good. A few more. Last one, two, three, four, one more side, one, two, and rest it out. Take a one minute break, keep yourself hydrated, and we want to move on to the second round. Wipe your sweat, but I want you to keep your energy level high up. <laughs> All right, grab some water. My pink potion. <laughs> if you're wondering what this is, it's actually BCAA, so it helps with muscle recovery and it helps for me to prolong my workout as well. It just gives me the extra energy boost, especially if you have a long workout session. Should be sweaty, okay? Second round, 20 seconds left. Give me your best effort and remember to break your limits. Whatever you have done in the first round, add that intensity, push yourself even more and really sweat it out. All right, let's go step squat. Let's start with narrow squat. Again, remember to only go as far back as you can without hunching forward, okay? So left and right, left and right and challenge yourself to squat deeper every time go deeper push your butt back even lower and feel your glutes your hamstrings and your quads working brace your core look straight ahead good last few more one more wide squat and shake it out. Okay, now that we've worked on our glutes, our hamstrings, now let's focus more on our inner thighs. So take a wide step and let's work on wide squat with tiptoe, okay? If it is too challenging, you can't find your balance, then do it without lifting your heels off. So wide squat, toes pointed out, ready? Squat down, tap on the floor, up, tiptoe, good. Squeeze your calves and feel your calves working. Down and reach up. Stretch it out. Stretch and reach. Look as high as you can. Very nice. Down. Woo! And up. Good job. Keep going. White squat. Knees and toes pointed out. Good. Feel your inner thighs, okay? Down again. Up. Good. Tap down. And reach. Push your butt back, okay? One more, and shake it out. Knee push-up. Remember, do not pike your butt or do not arch. So, keep both knees on the floor, palms slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Keep your elbows pointed back, okay? And now, what I'm going to do is bring your chest close to the floor and use your chest to push yourself back up. Let's go down and push yourself back up. Good. Flat back. Three. Count how many push-ups you can do. And the next time you repeat this workout, challenge yourself to do more push-ups. Good. Keep going. Down, up. Okay? Time yourself how many push-ups can I do in one minute? Let me know in the comments below. And then challenge yourself, keep working on a push-up, and you will slowly increase the repetitions as time goes by. One more, and rest it out. Plank, step in and out. Right, so choose your option, okay? If you find that you're struggling to do the step in and out, then just hold a solid plank. Okay, so remember to, remember to spread your palms wide. The wider you spread the palms, the more foundation you will have. So, both feet together, step left, in and out. Alternating between legs. 
Good. Nice plank position. Okay. Flat back. Strong shoulders. Push your arms into the ground. And slowly speed it up. Good. There you go. Speed it up. Last 10 seconds, okay? Go as far as you can, as fast as you can. Wide. Go wider, reach. And tap. Very nice. And now rest it out. Plank twist. Still in a plank position. This time working more on your balance as well as your obliques. Okay. Just breathe in and breathe out. Let's get into a high plank. Feet wider than shoulder width apart. And now let's twist. Look up, reach up, back down. Twist and look the opposite side. Remember, your goal is to always lengthen your back. Just think long, all right? As you reach up, think lengthening your back and reaching to the sky. Very good. Bring it back down. Twist and reach. Very good, there you go. Rotate your hips slightly. And back up. Last one. And just shake it out. Let's end with a little bit of cardio, okay? So air jump rope. Again, have fun. Have fun. Imagine you're a kid, you have a skipping rope in your hand, and just bounce it, bounce it off. All right? Let's go. 40 seconds, skipping, good, bouncing, left and right, left and right, side to side, whatever that you want to do, just have fun with it, okay? Double leg, twist, point your toes, point your heels, shuffle if you want to, or if this is too harsh on your knees, then just march, okay? Choose your option but I want you to feel that your heart rate is going up, okay? Last five seconds. And rest. Let's get back down onto the mat. Side plank, whether on your knees or on your toes, okay? Beginners always start on your knees. And eventually as you progress, stack your feet together and get onto your toes, all right? Let's go up, reach it up, point up, down and up. If you want to challenge yourself even more, then lift your arm up and dip your hips down and up. Good. If this is too challenging, place your arm back onto your waist and just dip your hips down and up. Good going last few more oh my god I can feel it and switch the other side let's go typically you will find that one side tends to be stronger than the other side and usually it's always that your right side is stronger than your left side. Hence, it is very important for us to work on both sides in order to avoid muscle imbalance, okay? So let's get up and I'll dip down, up, down, good. Which side is stronger? Let me know. Is it your left or your right side? Which one do you find that you can have better balance? Down and up, good. Again, if you want to challenge yourself, raise one arm straight up to the sky down up and down good control okay do not just let your hips drop control the movement and lift it up squeeze it right at the top squeeze and look straight ahead good and now just relax let's lie down on the mat let's do bridge march to work on your glutes okay lie down keep your feet shoulder width apart knees pointed up Feet firmly on the floor, arms close to your side. And now let's get into a bridge and let's go left and right. Good. Alternating between legs. 
left and right. And remember, your goal is to squeeze your glutes and lift your body as high up as you can. Imagine there's a string from your belly button pulling you straight up, okay? So do not dip your hips. Left and right. Let's go. Keep going. Nice. Woo. Up and down. And the last 10 seconds, let's speed it up slightly. Up, knee to chest, march. Very good. Almost there. And relax. Right. Swing yourself up. Let's get into plank to downward dog. Okay, I love this stretch. It's a really good stretch. At the same time, it works on your upper body and core strength as well. Let's get into a high plank. Okay. Feet shoulder width apart. Let's go and push your butt back into downward dog. Heels onto the ground. Again, high plank. Push up. Heels on the ground. Look between your feet. Creating a high mountain. Push up. Good. Spread your fingers. Very good. Keep going. Nice, solid plank. One more. And just relax. Shake it out a little bit, alright? Shake it out. Now, let's lie down on the mat with your face facing the mat, okay? Remember to keep your neck in a neutral position throughout. Let's do Superman to work on your lower as well as your mid-back. Arms straight. Let's go up. Bring it back, squeeze it, release, and down. Squeeze. Breathe in and out. Good. Control your breathing. Listen to your body. Feel your muscles. Lift as high up as you can. Squeeze your glutes, your lower back, and slowly go back into the starting position. Up, squeeze, squeeze, and good. Right, let's get up. To end the second round, another cardio, okay? Now let's do knee twist. So what I'm going to do is keep both arms close to your head and I'm going to just twist the opposite side. That's it. It is as simple as that, but you will be working on your core, okay? So let's go twist, twist. Some of you might find this challenging and you feel that you can't reach your knee to your elbow. That is absolutely fine. Just go as far as you can and just reach. Good. Keep going. Twist, point and twist. Good. Work on the obliques. Very good. So this is a good core workout without crunches. We can get our core workout done but without crunching. So you can do core exercises standing up as well. Keep going, keep twisting, twist. Few more, five more seconds, and you get a one minute break. Twist, last one, and shake it out. Well done, very well done. Two rounds down, one more round to go. Take this precious one minute to keep yourself hydrated, wipe your sweat, and we want to repeat all the 12 exercises again. All right? Do not stop this video right now. Let's do this and let's end this workout together. <sighs> it's only a 45 minutes workout. So I like to either get this workout done first thing in the morning before you start your day and it will give you a boost of energy. Or, do you know what, if you find that my schedule is too tight, I can't fit in a morning workout, that's absolutely fine. Get this workout done once you're back in the evening. There is no perfect timing to do a workout. What is most important is that you keep your workout consistent no matter what time of the day. Right, step squat in 10 seconds, okay? So let's start with narrow squat and let's go on our left and on our right. Third set, push yourself, squat deeper. Let's go. Down, step. Good. In and out. 
There you go, nice. Go back down and squat. Okay, step in and out. Very good. This is a low impact workout, so this workout is great for everybody. No jumping needed at all. Two more. Last one, left side, and shake it out. Okay, next workout, you know the drill, wide squat, okay? So, step wide, toes pointed out. If you want to challenge yourself, go even wider this time, okay? Go even wider, find that balance, and let's dig deep. Ready, let's go. Squat, touch down, reach up, squeeze your calves as you lift your heels off the floor. Down and up, and up, good. Reach up, woo, up, nice. Remember, do not hunch forward, okay? This is wrong. Squat down. Your goal is to get your butt as low as you can. Good, tiptoe and squeeze your calves to one count and go back down. Three more, you got one more. And shake it out. Knee push-ups, let's work on our upper body, okay? Lower body, our lower body muscles are bigger. Upper body muscles are smaller, hence it is tougher. But it doesn't mean we should not work on our upper body strength. So, shoulder width apart, slightly wider. Let's go, knees on the floor and go back down. Push it up, down and up, okay? If this is too challenging, then just do small pulses to begin with. As you progress, go deeper and push up. Down and up, good. Back down and up, back down and up. Guys, if you find that, you know what, I can't even do any push-ups, what you can do is start on the wall, okay? So, get onto the wall, find a wall, step about two feet away, and spread your arms slightly wider than shoulder width apart, and reach close to the wall and push yourself, okay? That's another great option to start doing push-ups. If knee is too challenging, get onto the wall. Next, plank, step in and out. Again, if the plank is too challenging, you can't do it, that's fine. Get on your knees, okay? Give me a nice flat back. Step in, reach in, step in, and reach out. Good, that's it, okay? This is a beginner option. Most important is that you get your workout done and you start somewhere. Everybody needs a starting point. So do not feel disappointed if you can't get into a full plank just yet. As you progress, get into a plank, step in and out. Good, there you go. Nobody gets fit overnight. It takes months and years of consistency and dedication. All right, so don't compare yourself to anybody else. Compare yourself to yourself only. It's important to track your progress as well. Just relax. Next, plank twist. Again, if you can't get into a full plank, start on your knees, twist to the side, back down and twist, okay? Find your option. Right, let's get into a high plank and let's go. Plank twist, reach, back down and reach. Good. Feel the stretch. Good. Keep going, do the rotation, work on your mobility as well. Very nice. Okay, good. Spread your legs slightly wider. The wider you spread your legs, the easier the workout becomes. As you progress, bring your legs closer together. One more. Back down and rest. All right. Have fun. Air jump rope. Imagine you have a skipping rope in your hand. Have fun. Hop left, right, front, back, everywhere you want. You can even bring your knees up, okay? This is your cardio workout to end the first circuit and we want to move on to the remaining six workout. So start gentle. You can even bring your knees up if you want to. Push yourself. 
Okay. Tap. Or one leg. <laughs> you can always do one leg. Hop. Change side. Hop side to side if you want to. Now change side. Double leg hop. Okay, hop front and back. And just rest. Let's get down onto plank, side plank. Okay? Right. Whew. Almost there. Six more exercises and you are done. 45 minutes of solid workout. Okay, palms on the mat. Let's get up, dip, and go back up. Good. Very good. Bring your hips as close to the floor as you can and lift it up before it touches the floor. Down and up, down and up, okay? Look straight ahead or look up. Good. Keep going, down and up. Find that balance, tighten your core. Hands on your hips. Last one. And change. Let's go on the other side. Whew, I am sweating. But it feels so good. Okay. Ready? In seven seconds, catch your breath. Breathe in, breathe out. Oh, now let's challenge yourself, okay? Get onto your toes. Everybody, get onto your toes. Challenge yourself. Even if you can only last for 20 seconds, it doesn't matter. Challenge yourself. Up and down. Keep going. Very good. You only have 20 seconds left. Keep going. Feel your arms shaking. Feel your entire body shaking. That is absolutely fine. You're doing great. And keep going. 10 more seconds. Push it up, back down, up, control down, back up. Last one. Up, down, and now just relax. All right, lie on the mat. Bridge march. Okay, again, toes pointed forward, feet firmly on the ground, arms by your side. Ready? Lift your body up. And now let's march. Up and down. Aim to bring your knee as high as you can. Close your chest without dipping your hips. Up and down, okay? Aim to bring your knee as close to your chest as possible. Good. Lift your entire body up. It should only be your shoulders touching the mat. Keep going. Last five seconds. Let's go. Speed it up slightly. And relax. Good. Let's get up to plank and downward dog. Okay, I love this stretch. I really like this stretch. Even right at the end of my workout, I like to do this stretch. All right, so let's get into a plank. High plank. Ready? And now let's push your butt up into downward dog and try to get your heels down onto the floor, okay? Try your best. And back into a plank and up. So when you're in a plank, your palms, arms and shoulders should be in a straight line. Push back. Feel the stretch on your entire back, down your spine and your hamstrings into a nice plank. Gaze down and push back. Look between your legs, heels on the floor. Plank again. Stretch it out. A few more. And just relax. Superman, okay? So now, lie flat down on the mat. Again, remember to keep your neck in a neutral position. So do not look or exert your neck. Look straight down, reach out, and lift your body up, squeeze your lower back, squeeze your mid back, and back down. Up, 
as high as you can, okay? So challenge yourself as high as you can, look up and now look down. Good. As high as you can, lift your legs off the floor, squeeze your glutes. Whew. Squeeze those glutes. Up, good. There you go. And back down. Whew. Last two workout and we have one more cardio blaster. And let's get up. All right. For this final cardio blaster, I will need to do a side step with a touchdown, okay? So this is going to really work on your legs. So start in the middle, find your space, get a little bit of extra space on your left and right, all right? Get low, keep yourself low, double step, touch, double step, and tap, okay? Good. The lower you keep your body, the more challenging it will be, okay? You will incorporate a lot more lower body muscles. Good, step down, reach, tap, and tap. Good. Again, keep your chest up, okay? Do not compromise on your form. Tap and tap. A few more if you want to. Speed it up. Last workout, okay? Last workout, speed it up. Last 10 seconds, as far as you can. Double step, push yourself. Oh. Last few more, last one. One more. Oh. Well done. <laughs> you did a 45 minute indoor boot camp workout so your hair should be messy like mine your heart rate should be pumping you should be sweating and you should feel damn good if you enjoy this workout if you want more live classes be sure to check out my fitness app feel on the app store or go to feellife.com we'll be sharing daily live workout classes with other amazing top trainers and trust me, you do not want to miss any workouts. If you like this workout, be sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my YouTube channel for a lot more workout videos, workout challenges, healthy recipes, and I will be guiding you through your fitness journey. So do this workout consistent at least three to four times weekly on alternate days. And trust me, you will see results, you will only get stronger, and you will start to lose weight. All the best.